this video will show you how to import uh, DICOM image stack uh, this is um, this is the image stack here DCM files we can we can either, either drag and drop this directory directly here or we can go via say load directory and then DICOM uh, or standard image directory so let's just drag and drop this directory here uh, it asks for the directory type this is DICOM so let's press ok now with the DICOM files what it does is it goes uh, uh, and reads each file to get the slice location and then sort all the slices based on the slice location uh, in case of uh, standard images uh, it will just take the directory listing and then just uh, take all the files based on uh, the directory listing so first file in the directory listing will be taken as the first file in the image stack and same for the last file if it is the last file then it will be the last file uh, in the image directory in uh, directory listing will be the last file in the image stack so if you have uh, say serial numbers for the images then uh, users can easily sort uh, the images using the uh, directory sort function and then load the directory uh, users can also select a range of images and then load uh, those images instead of loading the entire directory so now that we have uh, loaded this this data this is the histogram uh, of the data now this is uh, the data was it looks like it is single byte because your minimum value in the raw data is 0 and maximum value is 255 here um, I'm using up arrow and down arrow key or you can use uh, shift key with uh, to scale the histogram here I am turning off the histogram bar and just going through the data set here let's save the data now so save as say NGO NGO CT Now, if your image stack, based on your image stack, we can take the top slice um, as the zero slice or um, top slice as the lower last slice. Now, depending upon how you see the image stack, your left and right hand sides are going to change uh, because you can look at the image stack either from the top or from the bottom, and this will affect uh, what is right hand side and what is left hand side in your rendered data set. For the time being, let's just save the top slice as the zero slice. So let's take zero slice as the top slice. Save it. We don't want to save any raw. We don't want any subsampling. And let's keep the same information and press OK. So this will create um, two files uh, in this case because the data is not more than one gigabyte. So it will create two files. One file is ngoct. Uh, uh, pvl.nc and the other file will be ngoct.pvl.nc.001 now if your data is more than uh, one gigabyte then the the data is split into multiple files each file no more than one gigabyte now this is done in order to make the uh, transfer between 32-bit uh, and 16-bit systems uh, easier so these are the two files that were created and uh, during the render we are just going to drag and drop this file this is an XML file let me show you how this looks like So just drag and drop that here so it has got a, it's just a text file and it lists all the information in your uh, uh, metadata here and this extension is essentially linked to your raw data so your raw data is really lying in this file here 001 
and this is this uh, name name of the file is is a link to your raw data let me kill that off let me turn that off and let us start drishti render and we will load uh, this pvl.nc file and uh, render the data so i have i'm dragging and dropping ngocity.pvl.nc and we have our data here so this is what is called as low resolution mode and when we press f2 on mac it is function and f2 on windows it is f2 so press f2 and we go into the the high res mode and this is your data set and using shift key and then left mouse button press mouse button to change the transfer function so this is the way this is one of the most basic workings in in drishti we have imported this ct data into uh, into the importer and then saved the imported data as pvl.nc file here and then we have loaded this pvl.nc file into the render to uh, render to view view the data we pre we used f2 to go from low res mode to high res mode so f2 is a toggle to go from low res mode to high res mode so this video just shows the basic workings to import the data and then to render it